All right, we begin our final hour with this happening right today. Nearly 100,000 people plus will gather at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. to march for Israel. Griff Jenkins joins us now from the National Mall. What's going on, Griff? Hey, good morning, guys. It's going to be a big event, and let me give you a look, a first look here. You can see the Capitol through the awning of the stage. This is the stage where the March for Israel is going to take place, and on that stage, you're going to see a lot of big names, including Speaker Johnson, as well as Majority Leader of the Senate, Chuck Schumer, and you're going to have Israel's President, Isaac Herzog, along with Israel's Ambassador to the U.S., Mark Herzog, here. Now, as we look around, you can kind of get a feel in the distance, there's a few cop cars. There's a lot of security here. And then here are chairs that are set up for some VIP donor people with some sort of gift bag. I don't know what's in there. But then this is the look I wanted to give you. Look all the way down to the monument. You can see they have security, a perimeter all the way down there, some 12 to 14 blocks. And security is something they are certainly taking into consideration. But while you are seeing People turning out to support Israel, to free the hostages, to stand up against anti-Semitism. You do have some members of Congress, the squad, speaking out, calling for a ceasefire. Take a listen here. The Israeli government does not represent Judaism or Jewish yeah. values. <laughs> and the Jewish people. It does not. Ceasefire is not just an option. It is our only yeah. way out of this. Yeah. President Biden, I hope you're listening. I'm consistent in telling this over and over again. You must listen to the voices of the majority of Americans who are calling for a ceasefire now. And I want to show you one thing. We've been walking around the security perimeter area trying to see if any of the marchers have come down. And we saw one of the signs here for the march already being defaced with Free Palestine and genocide written on it. That is why security is so uh, tight here. The mayor of D.C., Miro Bowser, deploying the National Guard to help out with traffic and other things like that. Meanwhile, one thing that we haven't seen is any representatives from the White House intending to come down here to join today's activities. We'll find out. Obviously, the president is across the country. He won't be here, but perhaps there will be some sort of late addition. But that's the situation. And I'll give you one last look. As you look down here, it reminds me of when you, you had, you know, the, the pro-Palestine march a few weeks ago. They were not down here. They were in Freedom Plaza and marched over to the White House. This is actually not going to be a march. It's going to be a rally. The Tens of thousands of people are going to turn out being bussed in from other places that are going to rally here from 1 to 3 p.m. That is the main event. People should be arriving here pretty soon. As you can hear, they're getting the sound system set up. There's going to be some musicians, some artists, and an actress on the list, Deborah Messing. Guys, I'll send it back to you. She will be there. All right, Griff, thank you very much. A perfect scene center. Let I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.